Welcome to the Sacramento County CPS Commercial Sexual Exploitation Identification Tool Training, also known as SEIT. The purpose of this training is to provide instruction for utilizing the SEIT tool on children and or youth ages 10 and over. Why do we screen? We want to ensure universal screening among our caseloads and to be able to collect individual data from children who have been screened. When do social workers screen using the SEIT tool? For emergency response, intake workers must screen during the referral call. Investigation social workers must screen within the first 30 days of receiving the referral. For informal supervision, social workers must screen 90 days after receiving the case and every 90 days thereafter and following a triggering event. For example, an event which puts the child and or youth at risk of being exploited. For court services, social workers must screen after the first jurisdiction dispositional hearing and before the case is transferred to permanency. For permanency, social workers must screen annually and following a triggering event. For example, an event which puts the child and or youth at risk of being exploited. For extended foster care, social workers must screen annually and following a triggering event. In order to access SEIT, you must be logged into your county profile. Once logged in, open an internet browser page and enter CSEC and hit enter on your keyboard. Do not click on the magnifying glass on the search bar. You can also add this site as one of your favorites on the internet browser page. Completing the SEIT tool for intake. To enter screening results for a referral during the intake process, click on Referral and enter the referral number. Click on the calendar icon on the assessment date. Select the date the social worker completed the assessment, not the date of entry into the database. On the Child drop-down menu, select the child the assessment was conducted on. The child's client ID number will automatically populate on the client ID field. Please note, if the child is not listed in the child drop-down menu, select Child Unlisted and enter the child's client ID number in the client ID field. If the user entering data into the database is a social worker, the social worker field will automatically populate with the name and worker code. If the user entering the data is not a social worker, search for the social worker by entering the worker code first name or last name of the social worker in the search box, or scroll through the alphabetical list of social workers. Once the fields are completely filled out, the See It tool will appear on the bottom. Click on the Intake tab. Complete the tool in its entirety by checking off a box only if the item is a concern. For each indicator or gray area, select the corresponding response, whether with no information, no concern, possible concern, or clear concern. Based on the responses for all indicators or the gray areas, the final determination will be auto-calculated. Upon completion of the See It tool, please click Submit. Completing the SEIT tool for emergency response referrals. To enter screening results for a referral, click on Referral and enter the referral number. Click on the calendar icon on the assessment date. Select the date the social worker completed the assessment, not the date of entry into the database. On the child drop down menu, select the child the assessment was conducted on. The child's client ID number will automatically populate on the client ID field. Please note that if the child is not listed on the child drop-down menu, select the Child Unlisted option and enter the child's client ID number on the client ID field. If the user entering data into the database is a social worker, 
the social worker field will automatically populate with the name and worker code. If the user entering the data is not a social worker, search for the social worker by entering the worker code first name or last name of the social worker in the search box or scroll through the alphabetical list of social workers. Once the fields are completely filled out, the See It tool will appear on the bottom. Click on the version 2.0 tab. Answer each question by sliding the bar to the appropriate response. If more information is needed for each indicator or definition for each response, hover over the corresponding indicator. For example, if you don't know what no information means, put your cursor over the no information tab and it tells you there is no information or not enough information to determine level of concern with regards to the supporting statement to consider or key indicator. Items for which there is insufficient information to provide an answer should be rated no information. The scores for each indicator and the overall score for the tool will be auto-calculated. Once all questions have been answered, click Submit. Completing the See It tool for IS cases, permanency cases, and extended foster care cases. To enter screening results for a case, click on Case. Enter the case number. Once the case number has been entered, the corresponding client ID number and the child's name will automatically populate. Click on the calendar icon on the assessment date. Select the date the social worker completed the assessment, not the date of entry into the database. If the user entering data into the database is a social worker, the social worker field will automatically populate with the name and the worker code. If the user entering the data is not a social worker, search for the social worker by entering the worker code, first name or last name of the social worker in the search box or scroll through the alphabetical list of social workers. Once the fields are completely filled out, the See It tool will appear on the bottom. Answer each question by sliding the bar to the appropriate response. If more information is needed for each indicator or definition for each response, hover your cursor over the corresponding indicator or response. The scores for each indicator and the overall score for the tool will be auto-calculated. Once all indicators have been answered, click Submit. Please follow your program's specific criteria in regards to printing and or saving the tool's results. You can find these instructions in Policy Tech under Commercially Sexually Exploited Children Division-Wide Policy and Procedure. For further questions or concerns, please email CPS Policy and Procedure at satcounty.net and include see it in the subject line. Thank you and have a great day.